All right, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna make this a video or not, but I got my friend Gary, and we just left camp. You can see the van. Gary's actually camped over there. You probably can't see him. Yeah. But we're just gonna go for a day hike. Uh, we're gonna go check out all this area, and if we find cool things, I'm gonna make a little bit of a video out of it. If we don't, you'll never see this. All right, guys, so we're just kind of walking along here, and we're coming up on a creek that's pretty blown over, and we're in an area that, as you can see, was devastated by a forest fire. Been a few years now, right, Gary? Yeah. This yep. one here? Um, 2017, I believe. 2017, so, yeah. yeah, that's a few years, but, you know, we've got a lot of snags and blowdown, but here along this creek, here, we got some nice Indian paintbrush, and there's a lot of other wildflowers really coming on right now, but... Uh, this here I'm not really seeing until we get right along some water, but always really pretty when we do see it. No problem? No problem. So what you see a lot here we're walking through, this is called cheat grass, and it dries up in these seeds are a horrible mess. They get in your socks, they get in, uh, I really have a hard time dealing with them. With Daisy, they get up in her feet and her tail, they get in her ears. Um, and this is not actually native, and unfortunately, it's just uh, an evasive weed that's come in, and it's causing a lot of problems and taking a lot of, you know, taking away from a lot of the natural habitat that would be, or should be growing here. Plus it dries out real bad. And this will be real tender uh, for if any thunderstorms or anything come through here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a lot of this area here that quite honestly, in my opinion, it probably would serve well for a fire to come through here because it would burn up this grass. But you can see all these trees, they, they, they survived the last fire and they all their branches are way up high. So a flash fire would just burn right up and through here and uh, maybe destroy some of this cheat grass. So kind of down through here, you can see this grass that's growing. I do believe this is more the natural grass that should be here. And if you guys know, leave that in the comments. But I'm kind of curious, actually, what you guys think about uh, control burns. Do you think they're helpful? Do you think we should do more of them? Leave that down in the comments. I'd be curious what you think. What you got there, Gary? Oh, it looks like a skull. Could be a coyote or a fox or... I don't think it's any big game that I can tell. Uh, What's your thought? No, there's not enough of it there, but these just seem like regular molar teeth. Yeah, instead of canines. Yeah. Or, yeah, canines. So, I mean, uh, my guess is deer. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking this is a deer deer skull. Yeah, probably. Oh, right. leave, a, leave a comment. What do you guys, what kind of skull is this? What do you guys think we got here? <laughs> guys well we found a little hole here really freshly dug a really fresh dirt a pretty good sized hole I'd say about three to four inches in diameter why don't you guys leave a comment down below and tell me what you think lives in there so we're just walking this uh, little hillside here I don't know you guys kind of really make it out but we're just inside the timber that meadow we started in is on the outside kind of that burn era and uh, Gary spotted a couple deer. I tried to get them on the camera for you guys. I don't know if you guys are really gonna see it because she stood there for a little bit, but she was a little bit out of the range of my lens I had on this camera. But, uh, and then she was standing in the shadow. So look real carefully. I'll show you some footage and you can look real hard and see if you can see her. Okay, and so in fact here guys, we just walked here and you can see real clear where their bed was, where they were probably laying down until they heard us coming and stood up, but. Yeah, this makes a real good spot because, you know, they can come in out of the meadow area and they can go out there in the evening and feed and then come up here in the shade and bed. So, in fact, over here looks like a real heavy bed. Look over here, Gary. So, yeah, here you can see a real nice bed. And actually, it's kind of interesting. It's a little bit of a mound here, but there makes perfect sense. You know, they can lay right up there. They can look out over this area also kind of see behind them a little bit any uh so yeah that's 
that is what these walks are all about is hopefully maybe seeing a little bit of wildlife wandering through here it's cool working through a bunch of this blow down here but you can see here where it looks like maybe a, a bear just pulled this log apart to get to these you can see a lot of ants in there so they'll tear the log apart. They'll get to grubs and different things that are living inside these dead logs. But this one actually looks pretty fresh, so we don't want to keep our eyes about us. So we're just cooling off for a minute. You see we kind of came into a creek where it's really brushed over and kind of funny because the name of the creek is Brush Creek and it's definitely <laughs> brushed over. But just uh, being in the shade here, standing over the creek, sitting on this log, you can just feel like it's so much cooler than even just being in the shade you know say 20 30 yards back in the forest so yeah it feels real good right here so this is uh if you don't have a stairmaster this is the next best thing is a whole area Full blow down the walk over. All right, so Gary and I got back from our hike and our friends Chris and Jenna showed up and Jenna's a hairstylist and there's nothing more that she likes to do on her day off than cut some hair. Don't you, Jen? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> do anything for friends. Yeah, I always get her to cut my hair and I always try to convince her that she should start her own backwoods salon, just haircuts in the woods. Would you guys, leave a comment below, would you guys pay to have your hair cut in a beautiful location something like this where you could come out have a cold beer and get your hair cut so daisy got a little haircut too i did this and me or me and megan both did this so it's not quite as good as the one i got from jen but it helps her out in the summertime so she's not so hot oh that was your bad okay Well, we've got a little bit of a rainstorm coming through, uh, bringing along some thunder and lightning. I'm glad that there is rain coming with it because uh, things are starting to dry out a little bit. I mean, so far this summer, we've had a pretty wet start to summer and everything is nice and lush and green when we started, but things are drying out a little bit. So I'm glad we're getting some rain with the thunderstorm, but Daisy doesn't, isn't a huge fan of the thunderstorm. So she's just kind of laying here inside the van. We're under the awning here, you see. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna ride it out and enjoy it. out here just a little ways out from camp and uh, we didn't think we were gonna get much of a light show tonight uh, because of the all the clouds that we have around us you can see it's still really cloudy all around but uh, if you look off you know that direction there you can see it's super pretty just some really soft colors and it's really nice but uh, yeah what a great end of the day just to come out, spend a little time in a beautiful forest, watch the sun go down over the mountains, spend some time with some friends, and uh, just hang out and enjoy yourself. So, 
anyways i mean this video was just kind of me out enjoying in camp doing fun things just doing stuff doing the fun things that you do at camp and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do please give it a like if you got any comments or questions leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside